Uh, diabetic neuropathy. Richard, we have double copies of my paperwork, don't we? We forgot that we were supposed to send, we were supposed to get wood copies of those. I I'm have, just wondering if I can send them out the door with one of our copies, that way we can recopy. I'll see what I can get together. I was forced to ask everybody to give me something back, so. I don't know. And if not, I told her, you know, I, I can I believe get those from you guys next week or something. I have my full copy right here, but I don't know if you have another copy that we could recopy. That way we just don't have to remember. You want the full? Here's your precision yeah, certification. You know, this is not in my driver's license. I don't know if you need any of that stuff. Right? Um, this is really all you need right there. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got the you have your copy of the application you know, that gives you a higher level of protection. Um, you don't because it's distinctly uh, uh, the additional uh, protections regarding child custody apply uh, with the uh, ID card uh, section and. Uh, the paperwork, if it's older than 20 days, that is legally the identification card. You know, right. and I, and I'm, you know I know there's a, it's such a gray area for us too. You know, and I um, I know that I've talked with some people a little bit here and there about it. I think it's a learning opportunity. I can take care of right. I can take care We're trying, you know, certainly. And that's, that's why any documentation that I can get from her, like I told her to support support that, would, okay. be, would be great. So. Um, because I know in the past I've had a client where there was a a number I could call and I could verify that they were approved um, that way and document that. Yeah, the difficulty is is established. I've been testifying in front of uh, the uh, legislature uh, recently, uh, the Ways and Means Committee. They were doing a special investigation in this transition period. They were talking, and the the problem there's a very serious problem with the backlog and the ID cards being. Oh yeah, I know. And that's the, when and I talked to that center. That's what they said. That number I called, they said it was several months. Yeah, well, they're about four months behind, and unfortunately, they're limited by law to 20 days, mm -hmm. and they're breaking the law. And they've broken the law on every single patient that's gone through the system. The state, right. everyone, believe. nobody was because nobody nobody was right? issued in the proper time frame. Right. Right. They do issue all the rejections right. within the time frame. Right. So if they have an issue to rejection. Then they're then they're clear. They're cleared within the 20 days. It's just that they haven't been able to get the the printing mechanisms uh, functioning. Mm -hmm. Or people made and, um, to process everything. Process, yeah. But the law was put together so that if if that were to take place, then the applications, uh, the the patient's copy of the application and proof of. Um, Proof of uh, application, a cash check is a pretty good indication that they got the application. Yeah, and I knew that was, I knew that was part of it too with the centers I had worked with. Um, they said as long as the check was cash, I knew that was part of it. Um, so I'm, I'm learning as I go. You know, but the, the law says specifically that it, that, that the copies of the paperwork, the patient's copies of the paperwork, are their registration identification card and the physical card actually comes. They are considered to be fully registered, fully covered to the fullest extent of this new law, and they have the identification card. It is that paper. Right. That paper is the identification card. That's the way the law is written. So when you hear a lot of people saying things like, well, they didn't get their card yet. Wrong. They have their card. It is the paper. It's not their fault it's that Lansing is behind. Form. It's right. a different form. It's not the end. And, and so the law protects license. these people. They give you a piece that of paper. Gray area. It's not really a gray area because the law defined it real clear. When you go to they get your are license. registered. This yeah. is their identification card. When you go to get your driver's license, they give you that paper. Yeah, it's temporary. Legal until yeah. you actually receive your card in the number. Right. Same thing. Right. And that paper can override something that the computer might say. Mm -hmm. You know, if the driver cop pulls you over, you're just coming away from the Secretary of State's office, the computer says they got um, uh, outstanding things or stuff like that, or their car, their the, the computer says their driver's license is expired, for instance. Mm -hmm. and uh, But they've got their copy uh, from the Secretary of State, and that overrides what the officer is seeing on the screen. The officers have no problem with that. They understand the paperwork sometimes is an advance of the computer systems. Oh, right. They understand that all the time. Yeah. That's normal. I hear they don't. <laughs> they would. I'm looking for a driver's license. Yeah, they would for a driver's license. Yeah. 
So if they can do it for the driver's license, why can't they understand that that's the way it's supposed to work for the medical marijuana card also? Right. That's, it, I'll tell you why. Because they don't want to think that they this person could actually be legal. Right. They don't want to think that. They don't want to believe that. This, play, this person can't possibly be innocent. Right. This person, they're a stoner. They're using pot. They've got to be guilty. You know, they're got, yeah. they they have you know. Oh, that's probably forged paperwork. Well, as a matter of fact, I think that this young lady here was talking about that. That, that was uh. We seem to only have one copy. That's okay. Why don't you guys? Yeah, if you're just if you're out and about, you want to stop by the office and just have you um make a copy real quick, and then I'll throw it in my box or whatever. That works. Okay. No problem. Now, right. with the um um. With the protections that are in this me in this Michigan medical marijuana law, uh, from what I'm understanding about the situation, it seems it sounds like this was an illegal action that had taken place. As an illegal action for the household of the children to be disrupted that way, isn't that endangering the children? As Harming far, them? As far as traumatizing? Oh, oh yeah, negative impact, impact on certainly. Um, you saw that by talking to Shana today. How upset she is with it. I mean, the whole process has been traumatic for the children, isn't it? How is that supposed to be a benefit to the children? Right. Uh, but he didn't do it. Yeah. That's, he's right. not the one that's Yes, oh yes, yes. I was, I was no, illustrating. I know, I, I know that. I'm not taking... Uh, okay, I'm not taking good. I'm glad that you understood. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to no, say... I know, you, I know you're not yelling no. at me or, or anything like that, what, no. So, um... What, what about all the, the stuff that they were saying in court that you said? Isn't that... I, Jen asked me about that. I have no, no idea where that even came from. No, no, they loose marijuana all over the house was exactly what you said. Or, and we're not saying you said that, but we're just letting you know that's what right. other and people are allowing to be said. Because you know, so I didn't, I never said anything. It's written right in the and perjury, isn't it? I mean, it's it's not accurate. That's for sure. It's confusing I mean, there because, like I said, it said protective services and. You know, Lloyd didn't even know about it until after the. And, he said and then as far as for me to say that, that would be a lie because I was here. Right. There was no marijuana here. I didn't see anything like that. I told never you, said anything like Right, that. and I told you guys that the, the, the precautions you made seemed definitely. No, see, we, and we told him that you're on our side as far as we're concerned, is from yeah, the children's never, standpoint anyway. Yeah, yeah, I never, I never yeah, said anything we, like that. We, we want, there's, there's, um, um, uh, Congressman Cushenberry is, is interested in cases like this, uh, and the issue of um, the people issuing ID cards actually causing the appearance of criminality in the patients and the caregivers in the process state. Right. That's a real problem. The entire uh, committee uh, voted unanimously that it was a, uh, a deplorable situation, horrific, uh, inexcusable. Um, and um, the context there was sent, and that was the context of people, innocent people being arrested. The thing about children being, uh, children being taken away like that are, are, is, is uh, extremely upsetting. It's yeah, extremely upsetting. Um, you know, and that's why, I mean, I felt... Super biased to you, and they can't if I would have, You know, and if I would have felt that they were in any danger, then obviously as being my position, I would have had to file a position myself and request removal and obviously right I, didn't, I didn't do that so you know and, and like I say I know Jen asked me about that and that's inaccurate I never I never said anything well she said that you hadn't even filed your report yet my report's not he's still now has one yeah, yeah. He, yes. as of now, he's still so, so they, so they took the kids it. before yeah. their report was even turned in so my report is not officially will not be officially what's the likelihood of, the, of that of that being reversed I have no idea that would be something that they would you know have to Look into, and if I was asked, I would. Uh, to be honest, no, I didn't. I never said anything like that. Well, yeah. not only that, but you'd you'd have to be subpoenaed to say that when you right. were here, the house was clean, the kids were clean, the, you know, I mean, there was not loose marijuana all over the house, and it might have to go that way. And, right. But that's not a big deal. You're just oh, telling the truth. I mean, oh, we're cooperative. We. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, um, it's, and and like I told you, I, I mean, I. I'm just not totally straight. I'm totally honest with you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, if something's bugging me or something's not right, I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to say one thing to your face and then do another to your back. I mean, that doesn't do anything. That no, we, know, we knew that you wouldn't have said that. No, we didn't know that. We said that all along that we, that we didn't feel like he would do that. But um, he was not going to open a case. He didn't think that it was necessary, but we agreed that we're going to work together.